vaccine equity is a huge topic and many developed countries have had successful rollouts, but many others are being left behind. And now they're estimating that there could be a big surplus of vaccines. How do you divert them to countries in need? Um, that's, that is uh, an important mission and this is a mission which uh, cannot be solved uh, and navigated by one party alone. We are part of uh, this mission, but it's equally important uh, that, uh, that transnational institutions like WHO and uh, COVAX, for example, uh, and uh, governments help with this. Um, I really think that uh, this is an effort where the public uh, sector and the private sector need to work together and actually also reinvent new ways of working together, not only for this pandemic, but also to be prepared for future global threats. Your vaccine was developed and approved within a year. Whereas vaccines normally take many years, people will wonder why can't that be the case for new vaccines going forward? Yeah, we have to uh, keep in mind that it was an exceptional situation. All hands of all the stakeholders of drug development or vaccine development, both from the private as well as public sector, are on deck uh, and uh, everything is treated with a sense of urgency. So not everything we learned can be uh, transferred to a standard drug development situation. Uh, however, there are things we can learn, uh, things about how regulators and developers work together, how much regulated drug and in particular vaccine development should be, also shaping policies to be prepared for, for vaccines or therapeutics has to begin early and not only after approvals or authorizations. Uh, so there are a couple of things which I think if we transfer them into future drug developments can help us to be quicker for non-pandemic infections, but also for cancer and, uh, and, and autoimmune diseases.